Sunday and I can talk to you today because there is no construction going on since everyone's on break. Today, this is what we're going to be working on. So, I have this easel which I've had since I was in high school but I never really used and the lip where you're supposed to put your painting on, it fell off and I don't know where it is. So I've been trying to fix that because I really do want to use it instead of using the table thing that I've been using just because this is so much prettier. Um, my brother-in-law found me this wood <laughs> that I can use as the lip for my easel. So today I am going to figure out how to attach this to that thing on my own, which I've never done before, but woodworking is something that I'm definitely interested in. I wish that I knew more about. So this will be a fun first experiment. And he brought me this stain so that we can get this to match the easel color uh, so that's gonna be my first time doing that as well so it should be fun fun experience for us to try together I honestly have no idea how to go about doing this let's figure it out together I put on my trusty Alouette makers apron I just love this thing so much. Not only does it have like these excellent pockets, now that I've tried making, sewing my own pockets onto things, I realize how difficult that process is. So I really, really appreciate these big pockets now. This is what we're gonna be trying to make today. We already have the stand. So all it needs is this little lip here. I don't know if I'm gonna be adding this front portion. And the wood, I guess I could try to nail it on. Yeah, I'll probably do that. I'll probably use some wood glue and then nail it on as well. I don't know, man. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. All right, first things first. Ooh, I'm gonna turn on this other camera so you have a different view of what I'm doing. 10 inches, okay. Okie dokie. I'm working on this plastic by the way because I do plan on um, staining it and I don't want to stain my floor although it really doesn't matter this floor is so stained. Let's see. So this is 10 inches. So we need to cut that there. I also do not have a table saw or a saw really. Oh my gosh, this thing's a mess. Sandpaper, we can use that, I'm sure, later. Hammer, we'll probably need this. Um, <laughs> I keep my tools inside a Ziploc bag. <laughs> That's how handy I am. And then I organized. Uh, the screws and things that I have inside this little pill container. Which I'm very proud of by the way here. Let me show this camera because that'll be able to see better. Organize according to size. I don't know if we're gonna be using that. I also have like this bag of nails. I don't know why I have it, but I do have it. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, right. Okay, I have this teeny tiny saw it's for i think it's for metal actually but we're gonna try it on this and see how that works <laughs> Haha! I put this on by the way 
so you could have a better angle you're welcome um, that is that is done but so crooked first thing i want to do is sand down my rough edge isn't it ironic that i've been complaining about construction noise for like the whole week and then on the one day where there is no construction noise i decide to do a little bit of construction myself So now I'm going to pick the prettier one. I'm going to attach it to the bottom. This is the nicer one. This is the piece. And I'm just going to wood glue it for now and see if that's enough. And since I don't have like clamp clamps, I'm going to use these clamps that I have from my photography days. I got to do the wood glue this way because this is kind of old. As you can see, it's almost all gone and the glue has dried in the nozzle area so it can't really come out anymore <laughs> so what i've been doing every time i want to use it is i just kind of fish it out so i'm thinking if i should glue this on first and then glue it on to this would that be easier yes i believe that would be easier all right let's do that yeah and then i can just leave this standing like that all right let's do that For this to dry then i'm gonna glue this bottom portion over here and see if we even need to nail it in place or if it's fine on its own it is the next day and this took a really long time to dry but now it is dry nice and secure so we're gonna try to secure it onto this thing as you can probably tell the construction noise is back so there's not gonna be a lot of talking in this video i'm just gonna show you I'm going to finish this project until they stop working for a while. Remember when I glued this on yesterday, I was saying that I didn't want this lip to be too high up because when I'm painting or drawing, I can't get to the very bottom of the page because it gets in the way, which is why I glued it on really thinly like this, like just like a little bit here. But now putting it on, it kind of looks nicer with the taller one. So I was testing it out with my sketchbooks to see if it would really make a difference. It kind of does. 
Not really. I mean, I could probably work around it because it just looks so much better with the taller edge from the front when there's nothing in it. I mean, but does that matter? Shouldn't the point be it's functional and not that it looks aesthetically pleasing when there's nothing in it? I don't know, man. I don't know. So I have to decide how I want this to look. I mean, if I hate it, I guess I could rip it out and do it again. Oh, I still have about half of the wood that um, the wood piece that I cut this out of. So if I really hate it, I could really just do it again. Nothing is permanent. It's fine. Convincing myself that it's fine All right now. How deep do I want this to be? Maybe halfway, like this much in is good. Yeah, that looks good to me. I eyeball everything, honestly. Oh yeah, you can see that. All right. Doopie doopie smoky. Ooh, here goes nothing. Nothing's permanent. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. week and they finally arrived today these are the paper castell polychromos colored pencils so recently what i've really been enjoying about my work is adding like finishing touches in colored pencil like here i just feel like it gives it so much more texture and just definition which i do like so i've been using um, the only colored pencils I have are watercolor pencils and they have not been great on top of the acrylic wash like they're not Super sharp. They're very soft. So they keep crumbling So I decided to bite the bullet and buy myself a set of Faber-Castell polychromos because these are oil-based Colored pencils. They are supposed to be a tougher tip. I'm so excited. Look Look how pretty these are. So I decided to get a set of 12 sins. I'm not a watercolor. I'm not a watercolor. I'm not a colored pencil artist. So I'm not going to be like making whole works of art with this. So I don't need like a crazy range, but I would just like a selection of colors just to add final details to my paintings. This is actually what I have been waiting for because I think I showed it earlier on in the video. I have been waiting to finish this painting. I've been waiting for these to finish this painting for such a long time because I just want to add the last details in the colored pencil. So let's do that now. <laughs> 